This is very sad and very unfortunate. Rather than building bridges, he's poisoning wells. By failing seriously to confront the most predictable economic crisis in our nation's history, the president's policies are committing us and our children to a diminished future. We are looking for bipartisan solutions, not partisan rhetoric. When the president is ready to get serious about it, we're going to be here working. Exploiting people's emotions of fear, envy, and anxiety is not hope. It's not change. It's partisanship. We don't need partisanship. We don't need demagoguery. We need solutions. And we don't need to keep punting to other people to make tough decisions. If we don't make tough decisions today, our children are going to have to make much, much tougher decisions tomorrow. So I am sincerely disappointed that the president, at a moment when we are putting ideas on the table to try and engage in a thoughtful dialogue to fix this country's economic and fiscal problems, decides to pour on the campaign rhetoric, launches re-election, and pass partisan broadsides against us, and making it that much harder for the two parties to come together with mutual respect of one another to get things done.